Hello everybody, so Adam Hurd with 973 Ramp again of course, and this is a quick follow-up to configurations looking at our 2010 kicker, uh, one to make me grumpy for seeing how much I've learned and how much cleaner I would make the same thing now, both in terms of design uh, and how you would actually do it in SOLIDWORKS, and also to demonstrate the concept of what I was saying of an entire system that is uh, pretty much designed using configurations. So we had a 1 inch rail here and a 1 inch rail here on our frame. Uh, I don't have the robot open, but uh, you can just trust me on that. That was hanging from our superstructure, and this whole kicker hung off that. So we picked up our standard hole pattern there, and all the other dimensions were internal. Uh, these plates were connected with standoffs, so that was stiffener for that plate. Um, and then this plate obviously was a giant gear box with a ratchet. Uh, bunch of gears, then this jumped over there, we had the ability to change ratio in there a little bit, and then we had the ability to come up here and do a much larger sprocket reduction. And the reason we did that is this 4-bar mechanism, uh, it, you couldn't really calculate with the knowledge of the team at the time, the torque required for that to recock. Later on, uh, I took some classes that taught me that kind of stuff, and I've actually done that with kids a couple times, calculating the torque required for a 4-bar to do some sort of motion, because this is a 4-bar, I know it's crazy, but uh, so that's one link, that's two link, that's three link, and actually the system is the ground or fourth link. So I know a lot of people know four bars as just even four bars for arms, but a four bar really is anything that is four bars. But that's off topic. So you can see we have these four plates that obviously have some dimensions as com in common, uh, you know, especially this plate to the other plate with all the gears, and if these four were separate, it would clearly be a nightmare to iterate this design. You want to change your ratio, okay, let me change that plate, let me change that plate, oh, that might move that bearing hole, let me change that plate. No, that'd be crazy. That's, And I know people do that, and I, I did that. So uh, do not feel dumb if that's how you do it. Uh, the fact that configurations exist is not something that you just assume if you're kind of a self-taught SolidWorks user. So let's jump in right now, and you're going to see me get grumpy with how many features I have. I guess that's not too horrible, I don't have too many features. But uh, why do I have copies? Oh, I, we did do a water jet run of unpocketed plates to save some runtime. So the ones that are named copy are those. So you can see all these different configurations. Um, I guess when I post the CAD, which I will commit to doing within a couple days, because now I have all these videos where I keep saying we'll post our CAD, uh, I will put these plates in there, maybe this whole assembly. But you can see that I'm coming in and I'm just cutting off the material I don't want. Maybe I'm adding another hole. Uh, pocketing can be done separately as configuration. You can see this pocketing style is still very similar to what I did in that West Coast Drive gearbox. Um, uh, let's see how my base sketch is. So I did my gear in the base sketch, which makes sense. I like this. So this is still, even though this is little baby Adam a long time ago, uh, you can see I almost have the whole system. I'm actually a little surprised myself that I don't have the kicker arm drawn in here. You would think that's something I would have done, but I guess not. Maybe I did that at the sketch level. At the time, I was a big fan of doing this kind of stuff, and then also in the sketch, which in hindsight makes no sense. Just do it here. It makes a lot more sense. And then we have some gearing over here for the recock mechanism, and you can see holes for window motor. So yeah, so this is pretty much, uh, I guess for a lot of teams, this is a pretty complicated system, and it's really designed in one sketch uh, for all four of these plates. Um, the fact that it's pocketed separately and then chopped up separately, those sketches aren't really contributing design, they're just taking away some material and still using the same dimension. So still to this day, I mean, I could come in right now, change the spacing from this window motor to there, and everything would still work, I'm fairly confident. Uh, pocketing might break a little bit, but like I said in other videos, pocketing is hard to make reflexive, and you really shouldn't do it until you're really ready to c cut those parts. All right, so hopefully you guys learned something here, and I promise I will get CAD models posted by Saturday, which I believe is the 21st. Uh, so if I don't, please everyone harass me on Chief and get me to do that. All right, thanks for your